Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in today's video. We're gonna do an Olympium run. I will show you my best route to do that and why is it the best. So let's dive straight into it guys. So you wanna select R2 for the exit destination and you want to go from the garage to E6, C4, then immediately to A2, A6, A5, A3 and then R2. And this is the Olympium route, the best Olympium route, guys. And why, it, why is it the best? Because only on this route you can pass through 1, 2, 3 and 4 Red Spires maps. And that gives you more chance to find Olympium, right? Then the next thing to say, when you reach and start doing these, then you just stop and reload each junction, guys. If you find only one pillar of Olympium, you just reload that junction and just do it again and again until you find at least two or three pillars of Olympium, right? And uh, you want to again pick this one for the exit and then use all other scanner charges to clear these on top as much as you can from extreme conditions, you know what I mean? So that's all about the route, guys. This is the only route where you can pass through four red spires. If you pick any other, you can go through three or however you go, this is the best route to pick the most Olympium guys. So you want to clear it from extreme conditions. And now the next thing, just a few things about the car setup. In the end I realized that you actually can build the car all for damage protection. So if you don't have for Olympium, build armor than the other ones. And then you just add the iron shield and resource scanner guys. This is to block all radiation that exists in the game. And this is to find all resources in the game. So you want to have this when you hunt for Olympium, of course, because it's much easier to find it, and you want to have this one. And this is, for me, the best two roof upgrades that you can add on the car, right? Then the next thing, I switched from lip chip to turbo light just to shorten a bit the fuel usage. I'm using anti-terrain and off-road mix it, or maybe just the off-road, because when you are on the road, guys, and if something happens to your tires, you can only craft uh, first three, you know what I mean. So first three because all the others are tier three and you cannot craft them on the way. But you can always craft the off-road tires. So if something happened to these ones, I will just make the off-road, you know what I mean. And then the next thing here, just three cans, two tools, because I'm focusing on the Olympium and the Anchor Energy Converter. Everything else is just the free space. Here is one blowtorch and here is plasma chargers and all the tools more that I need. So with this, my battery power is like 170, that's more than enough. I have the resource radar, iron shield guys, handbrake and the limb shield. And sometimes if I want to heal myself, I change this one for the arc dock here and just heal myself and then switch back to the handbrake. And that's my car setup for this. So build all the car against impact and damage protection guys. So power bumper also and reinforced headlights. And then just add these two guys here and that's it. So I have this side batteries here, expanded backseat tank and there is another big battery, you know, that's why my battery is 170. And that's it. The car for Olympium run is here. This is the route guys. And yeah, we can just go and start doing it. So I will cut the video where I need to. I mean, I will just cut this first two sections and the smokestacks, so we don't lose so much time. And yeah, let's go and do this, guys. Now I will show you how to farm Olympium the best way, right? Let's go. And now from here, as I said, I'll just go A6, C4, A2, then A6, A5, uh, A3, and R2. And I will cut these two, guys, so let's start with E6 then. Here we are on the C4, guys. So I cut it off these two. We will just continue now to A2. Here we are on the first Red Spires map, guys. JCT A2. So what I did here, I was playing this, reloading the junctions, and uh, I added the audio later, so... Now here I was just checking the map, and I started driving, guys. And now, while I'm doing this, I'll just talk along the way 
because I'm watching now this video and I'm commenting on it, so I already know what happened here and what will happen on each next one. I just uh, record the drill audio at the start and at the end, you know what I mean. I know this because I was reloading a junction so many times, I just... Uh, I didn't want to talk all the time, you know what I mean, guys, so now I'm just adding audio separately. And here I wanted to actually refill the car, right? And then I missed these three explosive crates there, you see now, I saw them. But either I forgot about them or uh, I actually didn't see them at all, you know what I mean. Then I grabbed here this compound box. I was looking around here a bit. But what I wanted to say, all what I'm doing guys when I'm doing these runs, I'm just driving around the maps as much as I can, trying to remember where the pillars are. Because on each map, there are usually a few places that they can spawn, you know what I mean? And once you learn those places, you can just check there. I don't know how much, how many places are on each map, maybe 5, 10 or more, depends on the size of the map. But uh, once you know where they are, I mean, when you find a lot of them on different places, you can start remembering where where they can spawn, you know what I mean? So on this map now, I don't remember which reload is this, but uh, I think I found three pillars on this map in the end. I gathered like 26 Olympium. And it was on the very end of the video, guys, so... Now here I'm just looting trucks, trying to get the collectibles that I'm missing. And compound boxes and things like that. And what you want to do, guys, you want to build your car against the damage and impact. So all Olympium, or if you don't have Olympium, you put armor, you know what I mean. And then just add the iron shield for all the radiation resistance, because it blocks absolutely everything. So all radiation in game can be blocked with the iron shield. And that's all you need, guys, and if you want to drive like this, everywhere I mean you need to build the car against damage and impact then you can resist a lot of damage you can hit trees and everything you know what I mean you will see now in this video I was hitting the car a lot especially on the front and it was not damaged almost anything in the end of this junction you just add the power bumper on the front reinforce he headlights Add the limb shield and the back guys and that's it. And now you see the iron shield for radiations like this. And you receive zero damage guys. So the next thing to say about this, of course you want to reload junctions to get at least two Olympium pillars guys because it's no use to go on Olympium run and then just grab one pillar on each map, you know what I mean? You're not gonna get much like that. I'm aiming always for at least around 20 Olympium on each map, you know what I mean? And then if you drive this route, what I'm showing you, you pass through four Red Spires maps and you need to gather at least 80 to 90 Olympium, guys. If it's less than that, then the run is not good, you know what I mean? You don't want to go back to garage with 20, 30 Olympium or something like that, you know what I mean. Now I drove around here, like, through the whole map and uh, Olympium pillars were in the end. But what you want to do, you want to drive around the whole map, of course, and if you have time because uh, in zone 3 the zone is starting to close in much quickly than in zone 1 and 2 I think it's around 10 to 12 minutes in zone 1 is around 20 or more zone 2 is like 15 something in between like 3 to 5 minutes I think is just less and less time to spend 
and that also depends on the size of the map too, but it also depends on where you entering and exiting the map, guys. So if you are on a large map and you have exit and the entrance very close to, the, to each one, then the zone will start to close in much quickly then, much faster then. You know what I mean. Now here I try to <laughs> climb this hill, but uh, I bited too much with these tires and all this shit. I lost the speed, I tried it again, then I realized there's no point. I just went around what I should do in the first place, right? <laughs> but okay, sometimes you drive good, sometimes you drive like an idiot. That's all expected, you know what I mean? Now here I was still wondering where the fuck is Olympium, you know what I mean? I started to go on the opposite side of the map. And now you see where I'm driving guys, there is no roads here, I'm hitting lots of trees, lots of everything. Look at this shit. And my car is still very little damaged. Now another truck is here and an anchor. I think I'm gonna use the anchor converter now. So that's what you wanna do guys, drive around, grab, grab uh, trucks and compound boxes and just loot what you need, you know what I mean. Now I'm charging actually the ARC device to be ready when I go to the last map and so that I can jump. And this is all what I grabbed so far guys on these three junctions. First two that I cut it off and now this one. Yeah, here was no Olympium all the way and until up the end, you know what I mean. And you don't want to do come and do this without fucking hell, without the resource scanner, guys. Because it's much harder than to find them pillars somewhere, are usually on some hard places, you know, not close to the road, I mean, it actually depends on the spawn, so, it's randomly generated, but there are so few places that they can spawn, you know what I mean, so it's fixed, I think, it's not like random always, you know, because lots of times I was finding them, finding them on the same spots, so, I think it's maybe up to 10, I don't know how much places on the map, guys, but... Uh, and then once you start learning where they can spawn, you can just go and check there immediately, you know what I mean. So yeah, now I'm going on the opposite side of the map. I was wondering here, why is no Olympium, where is those, where are those pillars, you know what I mean? But you will see, in the end, here, this will actually be the best map, I mean, almost the perfect map, I found three pillars, guys, lots of Olympium, more than I expected. And yeah, now we are going on the final side the only place where I didn't go yet. And I was scanning around, you know, looking around. And no Olympium anywhere. But then, surprise, look at this shit, I was hitting lots of everything, guys. But my car is still almost intact, you know what I mean. You can see on the panel there. Battery is on the half. But that's all good here. I just wanted to find Olympium, you know what I mean? Here I was thinking uh, to reload maybe this save again, but... I needed to go all the way to the end. And that's where the reward was waiting, guys. So 
So now look where I'm driving. Fucking mountain, mountain drive. You know what I mean. Ma and yeah, so the final spot was there. And I will finally find the Olympium. Now somewhere here. The zone starts to close in. There. And that was my cue. If I now didn't found Olympium here, I would just reload the save. You know what I mean? And I would try again. But because they knew that always is at least one pillar guys somewhere it's always at least one pillar somewhere then I knew I'm gonna find at least one here and then I was hoping for that too and then I can off I can go on the next junction and then when I came here and scanned exactly that happened now you see where I am guys and here two pillars at the same spot and then the boom bunnies of course and now you see Two of them exploded right next to my car, but with the limb shield and all Olympium, they almost didn't do anything, you know what I mean. And now you want to find pillars with at least four or even five rocks, that's the best pillars you can get. And if you can find more of them at the same spot, like what is here, two of them now, that's good for that map, you know what I mean? It's not perfect, it's not three pillars, but two is enough, you know what I mean? Two is okay. That's the list that I would go. So now let's see, 15 Olympium, yeah. I would probably reload the save now. If I didn't found the third one here now, guys, I would reload this, because I wanted the average to be 20. Then I grab this just for plasma and uh, copper wire. I didn't want the glass shards because I have so many. And now with 15 Olympium, I was thinking if uh, maybe I find one more, I would go. If not, I would reload the save, you know what I mean, guys. Even though I found 15, but because I don't want 15, I want to average B20, I wanted to find one more. And I was lucky here because the third pillar, guys, was very close now to these two, as you can see there. So all three in very close proximity. And then when I saw this one, I knew this is going to be the good map because this must be now more than 20, right? You will always get more than five, at least six or nine on one pillar if you get only two rocks and I knew now when I saw all this again good pillar with at least three four rocks I knew I'm gonna have more than 20 and then total 26 Olympium guys from this first junction but I think I reloaded maybe two or three times to get uh, to get them like this, you know what I mean, for them to spawn like this. And now, because I had actually a lot more time, and uh, I went to charge the battery and to refill the car, although I could exit this map now, but I didn't want, because now you see my battery is in red, here again and hitting fucking trees. But car is actually good. And here actually this, you see now this, it looked like uh, this anchor just spawned there, you know what I mean? Like it's giving me the free battery charge. And then I stopped and just went and used it to charge my battery, you know what I mean? Now you see how you can do that guys, you just bring one anchor energy converter with you and then just uh, replace it with whatever you want here and go and add the anchor inside it's gonna charge your battery and then you just add it back to the trunk 
And again, solve these boom bunnies when you are doing something like this. Now look at this. Again, four of them. I mean, three of them exploded very close to the car. And I'm still good, you know what I mean. This guy actually is leaking now, so I'm gonna fix that immediately. And now I think all was good and I continued just towards the exit. And now here you see 26 Olympium for this thing that I gathered so far. And yeah, battery full charged. But now the tank was almost half empty. And then I decided that I will go there where I first found that fuel truck, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to just fully refill the car also. That's why I went now back there. Because I could go now and exit the map. But I wanted to fill the car with gas completely also. And now you see how to do this, guys. Before you start, we cut out clear from the extreme conditions. Build car against the damage and impact and just add the iron shield and the resource scanner. Now I was driving here hoping maybe for something more but uh, I didn't find anything, I just stopped here and because I was stupid here now I already looted this one. So I just went and refilled the car here now again, guys. And I think I again didn't pick up those... Uh, I didn't pick up those explosives. Because I think I just didn't see them. My eyes were looking somewhere else. But that's how it is. If you see those three crates, guys, you want to pick them up. Because that's the only way how to grab explosives. They can only appear here in the smokestacks of the red spires. And you want to grab them always. Sometimes they can turn into ticking tumblers, then you can just throw them away. But uh, I missed them now, here. So fuck it. You see now how I'm hitting a lot of everything. And the car is almost as good as new. You will see that when I now stop uh, before the exit. I will fix the car there with the blowtorch. You will see the whole damage that I received from all this driving like this with the power bumper on the front guys. And now here I was stupid again because I also looted this truck. I didn't see that it's opened already so I went to check it out. But of course it was empty. And then I just continued towards the exit. Lots of can openers here also guys, this tourist trap. And it's all anomalies that deal damage, you know what I mean. So that's why you want Olympium here. You can use puncture proof tires here if you want to avoid these from blowing your tires and shit like that. But then you will not have good off-road drivability like what I have now with the off-road and the all-terrain mixed. So it's your choice how you want to drive the car here, but uh, I would suggest build like this, all against the damage and just the iron shield and the resource scanner, guys, with the limb, shield and the power bump on the front. So now I will just uh, stop here before the exit, of course, like what I'm doing every time. You want to stop after you finish the junction before you enter the next one. So you don't waste time there, you know what I mean? Because you want all time there so that you can quickly look for an Olympium and not to waste time for anything else. So you always stop before you exit like this and then do all the fixings, uh, refueling or whatever you want to do here then you just continue on the next one guys because the game will automatically save once you, re once you enter the next junction and then you are not able to do this one again you know what I mean 
now you see all the damage very little damage from all this driving so far because I didn't fix the car at all until now and yeah not much damage at all guys I'm getting just one blowtorch later I can build one more if I need but it's all good now so just two decals I found so far and yeah I think that's it from this junction yeah I actually fully recharged the battery also and now the car is ready guys for the next junction here you can see everything 26 Olympium so this was the best map I think from all four that I went through 26 Olympium first junction done guys so let's continue to the next one now and now from here I just uh, cut it out the A6 and then moved to the A5 and all that and here we are at the A6 guys I will just cut it out now and we can go to A5 and here we are on the second red spice map guys JCT A5 so again I was recording the video first and now I'm adding the audio so I'll just comment along the way because I already know what happened here so again I was looking for Olympium I wanted to find at least two or three pillars right and what happened in this one guys you will see if you you wanna watch this part but uh, I can tell you now I found again 26 Olympium exactly the same amount as in the last junction so again three pillars and here I even found one in the truck so in the end I gathered like 27 Olympium on this map I reloaded this junction maybe a, again maybe a few times two or three I don't remember now maybe even four and uh, very poor conditions were here as you can see all this rain and shit still night but that's all good because in the last two maps I will have daylight then guys it's gonna be much better than it's now but uh, it is how it is so again zone 3 lots of damaging anomalies that's why you want to build your, build your car against damage and impact explosions and all that another can open it here if you can't build Olympium guys build armored and it's gonna be enough and now there is first Olympian pillars on this map again I, I managed to found three on this map and that's what you want guys you want to reload the junction until you find at least two or three Olympian pillars and then you want you want them to be good you know what I mean because you can get oh my god I hit a lot of trees and everything because you can get uh, and it's always these bunnies around them I mean usually you come close to the Olympium but these guys now just vanished somewhere I don't know what happened I need my tool and now what I wanted to say actually you can get from two to four rocks on one pillar guys and of course you want to find as much as you can and now this one was only five here you don't want these ones you want to find like with three or four rocks and you want to find at least two or three pillars every time on every junction if you find only one you just reload the junction again and that's another pillar right there guys so very close to this one now let's see how how much was in this one i think this one was now better that's the last one at, uh, at least three rocks but let's see 
Yeah, three rocks actually. And that was like uh, now when I added that here, that was 38 Olympium so far. So we had 26, and that's 12. 12 Olympium from two pillars now, guys. And I want them to find uh, one more, of course, because I wanted average to be at least 20. But now you will see that I will find the third pillar again here, and it's gonna give exactly the same amount, so 26 Olympium on this second junction here. And I think near the end I managed to find one truck and one Olympium was there also. So in the end this actually map was the best map because I gathered 27. So now here is one magnetizer but I didn't use it. So what you wanna do, you wanna just drive around the map now, here is the end and I turned back and I marked totally opposite side and uh, there was the last pillar actually and uh, that truck I think so now it's just flying there to come as big as possible because usually I would loot a bit more and stay a bit more here but for the sake of the video I just uh, didn't want to loot that much I was just looking for Olympium that was the pillar that they already picked up so I would usually stay a little bit more all the way until red zone starts to push me out or something like that at least at least when it's first zone on the half of the map or something like that I would stay as much as I can you know what I mean and just look for the trucks, compound boxes and Olympium and once you find the three pillars guys you don't need to look for uh, them anymore because I think that's the maximum on one map. I mean I found a few times three pillars on the same spot but I don't remember if I found more than on the same uh, junction. So maybe it's four pillars maximum but I, I don't know for sure. And that's now the third one here on this map so on the totally opposite side. This pillar was very good, I think this was the best pillar that uh, put me over 20 again here, so 4 rocks as you can see, that's what you want. And then to be good, look how many in this one. <laughs> yeah, so now I think I have 21 from 3 pillars again because the last one gave so much that was awesome, you know what I mean. Now you see 62 guys. Oh no, I mean 52. So that's exactly 26 and 26 on both maps. And now I knew that uh, I will not find uh, more pillars. I just wanted uh, to exit the map. But now on the way out, I will find two trucks and then just loot one more Olympium there. Because you can loot Olympium, guys, and explosives here in the smokestacks and on the red spires and you can find that only here in zone 3 so now I turned back and actually I wanted to charge the battery also and to refuel the car a bit you know what I mean so once you know the maps a bit and everything once you get a grip of the game, you don't need actually fuel cans, things like that. Maybe one or two, just to be sure. A few plasma chargers, guys, and just drive and do whatever you want. Use the iron shield and limb shield for protection. And then use the resource scanner. Or, I don't know, whatever you want in combination, but... And that's the death track. Now here is the two trucks, as you can see, one here and one on the top, that's the fuel one. And here is the one Olympium, that's 27 now in this map, and that's why this map is now the best. I mean, I managed to gather the most Olympium here. 
26 and 26 from three pillars on both maps so far. And now I just stopped here and uh, refueled the car. And I think I now just exited the map, but no, I of course, I went for the anchors, yeah. I went for the anchors to charge the battery, guys. Because that's, for me, the best three upgrades are laser scanner and iron shield. Oh my god, look at these two. And uh, then the anchor energy converter. And then the limb shield in top five, let's say. And for the number five, I don't know what to recommend now, but the top four are these ones that I'm using now. So limb shield, iron shield, resource rather and what was the fourth one now? I fucking forgot what I want to say, but you see now this battery, when it looks like that, it means that it's swollen. And then you can actually, it still works, but soon it's gonna go, and then when I go back to the garage, I would just always get rid of the parts that I don't want that are damaged like that, you know what I mean? They just break all the tools that are near the end of two and build new ones. That's how you maximum save resources. Now I just started this anchor here and I think I fully charged my battery, guys. So you just want to carry anchor energy converter with you. And now again, these guys, I didn't see them, so they damaged me also because they didn't move. But uh, I will replenish my health when I exit here, so now everything is good car is fixed and battery is charged, tank is refueled and then I just went for the exit of course. I think I didn't go for this anchor because I didn't need it, you know what I mean. So this is the top build that I'm using, then you can change iron shield for something else if you don't want to stay in the radiation long, you know what I mean. But uh, this is actually one of the best builds for me now. All Olympium and just these tools, guys. Yeah, now here I went straight for the exit. And actually I think, yeah, I used this magnetizer now here. Because I wanted to craft a little bit of Lim magnets. So not so much uh, scrap metal and everything, but I got a few with magnets here. This is the only way how you can actually build them, guys. You need to add steel sheets and scrap metal into magnetizers, and they will turn them then into Lim magnets. And they can only be found here in the smokestacks and the red bars in zone 3, guys. So now this battery is charged in the back, it's gonna charge the car a bit. Now I was stupid there because I already picked this one of course, but I just went to see because I didn't want to miss anything. But I actually knew that uh, this one I already picked it up before, so... But I needed to take a look, you know what I mean? <laughs> Now I went for exit. So now you see how it's done, guys. Just drive all around the map and reload the junction until you find at least two or three pillars. And that's it. You don't want to go and do Olympium run and gather just one pillar on each map. No, I stopped here, as always, just to check everything. Now this battery is swollen, of course, so soon it will be gone. I just checked everything else here, but everything else was good. And now, as you can see, it's uh, 53 Olympium, so 26 plus 27 on this map. 
and we can go to the next junction guys so now we'll just heal a bit switch to the arc dock and then just replenish my health let's switch back to the handbrake of course and this is how you do it this is all what you need guys these four are the best now abilities to use at least for me and now we finished A5 so 53 Olympium so far only two maps left let's go to A3 and here we are in the third Red Spires map guys JCT A3 so now again I was first playing and then adding the audio so now something uh, actually strange happened because after a few reloads on this junction again I managed to grab guess what 26 Olympium again guys so all three maps so far was 26 Olympium in three pillars scattered around the map and I think coverage is like from 5 to 9 from one pillar I mean you can get at least 5 and you can get the most like maybe 18 or 16 or something like that so I think average is somewhere around 8 or 9 per pillar but uh, I managed to grab 26 on each of these three maps That is the first pillar here on this map, guys. So now I don't remember, let's see how much Olympium was here. All I know that I gathered again the Olympium on this junction. And it was 26 in the end, so now let's just see. The first pillar here, only two rocks. That was a bad one, so just six Olympium. So you can see now 5 and 6 is the least that you can get from one pillar if it's only two rocks on it. You want to be at least 3 to 4 rocks and you want to find three, 2 to 3 pillars on each map guys. Preferably 3 of course. Just as I did now here each map 3 pillars and 26 Olympium on each one. So what else to say here, I already said all what I wanted in previous two junctions and now a little bit of damage from these tourists but uh, I don't care actually too much guys because Olympium and Limb Shield is enough to sustain a lot of damage. Now I just checked this truck here. Again you can find Olympium and explosives here, but now it's two explosives, you see, in this truck. That's the only way how to find explosives, to load them in the truck and to find those boxes around the smokestacks, guys. And now I think I went for the battery, but let's see. I mean for this anchor here, but I didn't, I didn't went for it yet. So far only one Olympium pillar, but until the end it's going to be three again guys, and then uh, I was surprised actually that I gathered exactly 26 on each map, you know what I mean, and there's, there's the another one here, so second pillar right here guys, now you see how much damaging anomalies here. They all deal damage these tourists, this can opener, and everything here deals a lot of damage, guys. That's why Olympium, or at least Armored, needs to build your car like that. Now this pillar, three rocks, so that's not bad at all. And when I add it here, that was now 67 Olympium 
and of course I wanted to find I wanted to find one more and in the end I found it guys so now I went a bit wrong way because this third, third pillar is on the other side but I didn't know where it is until I found it now you see how much damage I am receiving uh, lots of times but my car is very good still so I don't need to fix anything guys you just drive around do whatever you want I don't need to refuel yet here also I just wanted to find the third pillar as quick as possible and then after you find uh, three pillars guys if you manage to find them very quickly then you can loot stay and loot for everything else you want as long as the zone as long as the zone doesn't start you know what I mean so with the iron shield you can even stay in the zone and for auto drops, at least first one, or something like that. And now you see on these last two junctions, I came when it's day. But again, you want to have the research scanner because it's just much easier. You just drive around and scan everything, and you're gonna find them like that, guys. Always much easier than to just drive around. So now here, I started to go on the other side, I think, uh, but, it, but not yet actually. Yeah, I made actually a full circle now around here, in hope for the third pillar. But I still didn't find it here, a little bit of trees again. I didn't loot anything else, because if you want Olympium guys, you don't want to waste time too much on anything else, maybe just some trucks on the way or something like that, but not stopping and going into houses, hard uh, trailers and shit like that, you know what I mean. And uh, more damage, now a little bit, my car is a little bit damaged on the front, but Again, that's almost nothing, guys, so... Now I decided to go on the opposite side. And you just mark like this and go straight there and now I will cover all the other side that I didn't drive, drove already. And the third pillar will be somewhere near the end there. Because sometimes they are close together or in very close proximity as you can see in the first junction there and sometimes they are scattered all the way now this is the pillar that they already picked up that was the first one I think or something like that I was circling here now hoping to find that third one you know what I mean so in total maybe I reloaded 10, 12 times these three junctions so far to be able to get three pillars on each one and it's not that hard guys when you prepare your car and you learn maps a bit then you can just drive around and do whatever you want of course you want to clear them from extreme conditions come here by day if you can of course you will not have day or all maps because it's impossible but depends how you want and there is finally the third pillar guys all the way on this side and with this one I think this was the best one again the last one here I gathered enough to go over 20 Olympium again so now here these guys started to pull me a bit couple gambadis but uh, I have all the character updates unlocked also so they can they can't do nothing to me you now three four stones was here yeah this was the best one and with this 12 
when I added them here, I had then 79 guys, so again 26 Olympium, so on each map so far I gathered exactly 26 from 3 pillars. And now I wanted to just go to the exit. This storm caught me a bit. So then just you need to have the iron shield because of this. Of course, and for the radiation, any, any kind of radiation, guys. But mostly for this one, right? If you are caught in this storm in the zone 3, you don't have the iron shield. Things can go wrong really quickly, I mean, you can damage a car significantly very fast, so... But with just the iron shield, all this is... becomes nothing, you know what I mean? And now I'm out of the anomaly storm. Now I realize my battery is empty here. And I wanted to charge it a bit with the plasma charger. But then I realized why would I do that when I have the anchor energy converter, of course. And now I just went for them to charge the battery. And then I went for the exit, I think. So lots of these guys, I mean all damaging anomalies are here, guys. I think each one of them are in the last zone 3, especially in the red spires. So yeah, now I charge the battery here a bit with the anchor energy converter. Again you can see how easily it's done. Just bring one with you and just start these things inside, you don't need to worry about the battery at all, just carry a few plasma chargers to be sure and, and that's that guys, so best targets are these that I'm using right now, at least for me, they have the most to use, you know what I mean, than the other ones, so now I just fixed the car a bit here because I'm near the exit and Anomaly storm just passed, so I'm safe now here. So I fixed everything here and I will just now exit the map. I will not stop before the exit there. So again, everything is good. I'm missing just a little bit of fuel. But I went for the exit now, I think. a little bit of storm now again you will mostly have the rain here all these winds and shit even if you clear them from extreme condition because that's how these maps are always trying to be as hard as possible but once you learn them it's not that bad the ice so now i just went for the exit and here we are we finished now the a5 I mean the A3 and only, only R2 is left, so let's just go there now. And here we are at the last Red Spires maps, guys. JCT R2. And uh, here again, I first played and then recorded the video, I uh, recorded the audio. Now as you can see, 79 Olympium so far. From three maps. And on each one I grabbed 26. So, a bit unusual, but that's how it is, guys. On each map I grabbed three pillars so far. And now on this last one, I actually grabbed only two guys and I got like 21 Olympium and that was exactly 100 Olympium, guys. And that's why I stopped actually. I didn't want to reload this one again and again. Just for the third pillar and when I saw the number was exactly on 100, I decided I will record this one then and finish the whole video with 100 Olympium collected. So now on this last map I was just doing the same thing here a little bit on the roof. But all that doesn't matter because you just want to find Olympium as quick as possible on that map. And then you loot after if you want more or whatever you have time but if you are doing Olympium runs guys then you just go and first find Olympium 
because that's what you want, right? So now here, again I reloaded maybe a few times to got this too, but uh, as I said, when I saw that it's 100 I didn't want to reload it again, just for the third pillar again So, maybe this uh, map would give more than 26, because it was 21 from only two pillars, guys So just five more and uh, I would have 26 again if I found third pillar here, maybe I would get more than 26, but I didn't found third one here, so... And now here I thought this is Olympium, but this is just red balloons, guys, and some explosives. So now you see how the crates of explosives looks like. Here is only one, but uh, you want to take these guys because sometimes they can spawn pearls or car parts. As you can see now there, and three explosives here. So stable anchor and the door. Both uh, from this red balloon now. But I won't take this. I just took the pearl. That's all the resources from that uh, pearl and this. And this box here, so explosives. Then I thought somewhere is here, but uh, it wasn't actually, and then I just get back to the car. So now on this map, yeah, it was only two pillars. I think soon I will find one, then near the end the other. So now what to say about this run, guys? I think I said already everything in previous junctions, but I will say it again to kill a bit of time. So what you wanna do is just build the car against damage and impact, so build all Olympium guys. If you can't, then build armored. And just add the iron shield for radiation protection, because iron shield blocks everything. Absolutely all radiation in the game, guys. And then just use the resource scanner to easily find all what you want here. And there is the first now pillar uh, on this map. I think this was not a great one, or maybe I'm wrong, let's see now. So this one actually I think have like three rocks or something, so it's not a bad one. Yeah, it's three rocks here. So it's eight from three rocks. And now I found just one more, guys, and I got 21, so it was 14 in the next one, you know what I mean. It was actually 13. 13 and 8, it's 21, right, yeah. So now in the last one I will just get 13, that will be 21. And total will be 100 Olympium, guys, from 4 junctions. And this is the most that I get so far. I was usually aiming for 80 or 90. And I was doing mostly 3 stops uh, run. But now I'm doing just this route when I want to do Olympium. Because this is the best route guys again. Because only here. Only with this route you can go through 4. Red Spires maps, you know what I mean. And there is the another pillar on this map and this one was very good as you will see now so I think 13 here yeah this was three or four rocks now here look at this pillar you want pillars like this guys you know what I mean with lots of rocks at least three if not four right so yeah now this one had four and that's now total guys of 21 olympium as you can see 8 plus 13 here and when i add it here it's exactly 100 olympium guys and then i thought okay i will drive a bit if i find one more okay if not i will save this video because 100 is a good number i wanted to have average 20 now it's actually average 25 
because four maps and it's 100 so 25 on each map but it's actually 26 and uh, just this last map I didn't found three and I didn't want to reload it again so now here on the gas station I just reloaded my battery guys and I refueled of course the whole car right and I think I drove a little bit more and then I went for the exit but now you see how to do this guys it's fairly easy actually and now look at this guy he just came out of nowhere this green happy hair right then I wanted to add it onto my car a little bit but now I accidentally pressed the wrong button and I didn't turn off the limb shield and he popped up there but uh, I will went to pick it up now so here now I just parked and I refueled the car There is one container here, so I think one pearl was there also. Now I went for this uh, happy hair to just fix my car more so I don't need to use any tools, you know what I mean. So just add it on the car wherever you want guys, like this. And it's gonna fix your car as long as you are on this junction, but uh, then you can't use the limb shield of course because you will deflect it again. So. And then I just grabbed all this, I didn't go inside of the gas station because usually there's nothing there worth of mentioning. And here I just continued now, all was good. I just wanted to go on that side a little bit and see if I can find maybe third one. And that I didn't. I just marked the jump gate then and just went out. So what I wanted to say, now you see how this is done guys, just, just build car against the damage and the impact because in the zone 3 here it's all anomalies are damaging anomalies, they'll deal a lot of damage guys, that's why I want your car to build against damage and the impact and explosions here. Now zone starts to closing in, that was my cue to just start to go back, you know what I mean, I saw that here is again no Olympium on this side probably and then I decided that it's time to actually go my battery was here on the half ok I went actually a little bit further but here yeah actually I went a little bit further here just to be sure that there are no pillars on this side And now I saw that I was on the end, I just marked this jump gate and I went for it guys. So now you will see when we go to the garage all what I gathered from this run guys and uh, I actually, my car was almost completely healthy, you know what I mean, because of this happy hair now here and everything. And I didn't damage it at all, almost, you know what I mean. You can carry just one blowtorch, and you don't need actually anything else, guys. If your car is all Olympium and power bumper on the front, limb shield on the back, you just don't need anything else, you know what I mean. I think I didn't fix any tires on this run also, so no blown tires, no anything just have uh, off-road and all-terrain mixed, so... And now see, here I didn't see where is the fucking jump gate. And now I just went for it, so... That's it from this uh, run here now, guys. See you back in the garage, of course. And I see how this is actually easy, that's the one that I picked already. And finishing the run with 100 Olympium, guys. Yeah. And 
here we are back in the auto shop guys seven stops run took me one hour and 39 minutes and we grabbed exactly 100 olympium guys so on four red spires maps and i was of course reloading ejections to be able to do that to find at least two or three pillars of olympium on each map and that's the only way how you can grab this much guys you need to reload those junctions you know what i mean so now i will just uh, throw away all that i don't want anymore and all what is damaged and add those resources there because this is all what i actually gathered from this run right so only two decals let's just uh, leave them here i want to have uh, two from each so now I'm missing only this four but okay and I forgot to say one more thing about the route guys on the start of this video so now let's just build actually first what I'm missing so the side battery then uh, one plasma charger right and one magnetic hammer and I will build the thermal vacuum one more and here in this I actually have this too. So now when I add all back here. When I add all back here my car is actually ready to go again guys. On the next run. Whatever I want to do. Go for the other drops. Or uh, again on Olympium run. And I will show you now just what I was talking about the route. Because it's all the same actually. It's just about the. Okay, let's just actually pick this up now before that and add all the resources. Oh, look at this. Yeah, okay. So now this is now all what I gathered in this run, guys. You can pause the video and see everything. But here is 100 Olympium. So now I will just uh, grab all that and leave it here, of course. Now I will show you just what I meant about the route. So now if I want to go on another route guys. I will just go again here. And now you see. On this run. We exited here on R2 right. And now because this is a dead end. Sometimes this tree. Is going to be dead ends. At least one or two of them like it's now. So now only R4 is available to exit and then I would pick this one instead of R2 and just do the same thing, try to clear from extreme conditions the whole route. And now, now I perfectly cleared as you can see the whole run again. If I want to go I can just go again, this will be the exit point now. And that's the only thing that I forgot to mention guys, so you will exit on R4 or the R2 and that's gonna be the four red spires maps every time and if both of these ones are dead ends then you need to do another run one small run just to refresh the map you know what I mean and then you just want these two to be available to exit and that's all what I wanted to say actually about the run guys the car setup just build everything against the damage and impact use the iron shield and the resource rather guys and that's it and then you can run the car how you want machine or whatever you want you just build everything else how you want you know what i mean and that's it from this olympium run guys if you like what you see please consider liking subscribing and commenting and join me in another pacific drive video bye